Hi everyone, this is Morteza and in this video I am going to share with you some information on what Kadabra is. But before we get to it, don't forget to subscribe. So what is exactly Kadabra? Kadabra is a field theory motivated approach to computer algebra. It's basically a programming language for symbolic math. And it is based on Python and SymPy. So if you already know Python and SymPy and you have worked with them, you're going to have a really easy time working with Kadabra. Kadabra is more specifically designed for field theory motivated computation. And, and it has a very interesting feature that it recognizes LaTeX. So you could just put equations from your paper into it and get some results at the end and of course you can again convert them into LaTeX and use them in your paper. To install Kadabra on your system I put some links below in the description. Uh, basically you can just go to the GitHub page and get the uh, most up-to-date Kadabra version which currently is the second version and install it on your system. Or you can just go to their specific website and get it there. I should also mention that I am going to learn it all the way with you. So these video lectures might be updated only once a week. But if you want to learn everything more rapidly, you can just check the links in the description. And I'm sure there are many good examples and tutorials in the website. However, the more detailed the tutorial is for the first version, which is a bit old. Which is one of the reasons that I am also doing these video lectures on the second version of Kadabra. Currently I don't have any web logs. Maybe in future I will try to make one and put all the codes and explanations into it. But for now, uh, we can just rely on these educational videos and you can also help me out to figure out how to improve my videos by just putting some comments every once in a while. As for the coding environment, you can use Jupyter Notebook or use its GUI environment that gets installed on your system when you install Kadabra. And you can just pop up your command line and write Kadabra 2 to enter its terminal environment to write your codes. Before we get to an example, I want to just say thank you to Casper Peters for helping me out with many of the questions that he answered. Now let's do one simple example in the Kadabra environment. I'm going to use the GUI just because it is colorful, it's easier to work with and uh, I like it. For example, if I would like to introduce a very simple equation like a to the power of 2, a times b plus 2 times b equal to 3, I just need to first introduce a and b as a symbol. Uh, for this, I just say that uh, a and b are uh, double columns and then use the keyword symbol to introduce them to Kadabra as a symbol. And then I write the equation just like this. A uh, for power I just use two stars and plus. And uh, for A, B I have to put space in between them so that Kadabra understands that there is a multiplication here. Otherwise it's gonna just get them as A, B a single word. And then plus two B equal to th 3. And I just assign e e EXPR as uh, the label of this equation uh, with a colon and equal sign. So to run this I just have to do shift enter and uh, you can see that uh, it's gonna run the whole thing and uh, I have the result. Um, so at the end of every sent statement here, uh, we have to put a character a semicolon, a dot, or a colon. Uh, but when you use semicolon, it's good because it's going to print out the result of the line. 
There are many functions and functionalities inside Cadabra that we could use, but I'm not going to jump right into them because next videos we're going to just get to them step by step and learn them from the basics. That's it for today. Next week I will be back with some labeling. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. You can also subscribe to follow more of our future videos. See you next time.